Hello friends, welcome to Data Science Lovers. In this video, we will analyze the big data related to air quality. Let's have a look what the commands and function we will learn in this tutorial or in this video. First of all, we will see how to import the pandas library. Then we will use info function to check the information about the data frame. We will use to date time function, group by function. Here we will use group by on two columns. We will draw a line chart, an area plot, a bar graph, and from the date time column given in the data set, we will create a column for years only, and for months only, and for hours only. Means we will create three different columns. And next we will use the fig size function to adjust the size of the figure or chart. Next we will also see how to use the parameters like style and color and we will also use the filtering using the AND operator. We will also use value count function that we use in our own videos. Also we will have a look at unique function as well as the mean function. Before solving these questions we have to see how the air quality or level of pollution is measured. From this given table, we have to consider or focus on this column PM 2.5. Here the level of PM 2.5 is given. Now if you note more PM 2.5 level means more polluted air. Means higher the value of PM 2.5, the more polluted is the air. What is PM? PM means particulate matter or these are the particles that are present in the air for longer time that cause the pollution. Now if we see here when the level of PM 2.5 is 0 to 12 then the level of concern or you can say level of air is good. Similarly when the PM 2.5 level is from 55.5 to 150.4 the air is unhealthy and the air is hazardous when the level exceeds from 250.5 means the higher the level of PM 2.5 the more polluted the air is. So we have to consider this table while solving the given questions. These are the seven questions that we solve here. Question number one, show the area wise average pollution with a line chart. Second is draw the area plot showing the average pollution month wise. Next one is draw a bar graph to show the hour wise average pollution. Question four, usually in which months the air was recorded very unhealthy. Next is usually in which month the air was fresh or good. In the year 2018, how many times the IQ was recorded moderate. And last question is how was the weather in the month of January and July. Now to start with analysis, first of all we have to import the pandas library. And the syntax to import the pandas library is import pandas as pd. I will run this. The library has been successfully imported in this Jupyter notebook. Now we will import our data set. Our data set is in CSV file format. And to import the CSV file, the syntax is pd.read underscore CSV, the round brackets, and the quotes. In these quotes, we will pass the path of our file. I will copy the path of my data set from properties here and this is the path of this file. I will copy this and paste there. To remove the unicode error, I will write a small r here. If I run this, the data set has been successfully imported here. Here are only two columns, date time and pm 2.5. Now we have to save this data set in a variable. I am naming the variable as data only. So our data set will be saved in this variable data. To have a look at our data set, this is our data here. And if we want to check some basic information about this data set, we will use the function info function. Our data set name dot info function. If I run this, it will show the basic information. It is showing that there are 31861 entries or you can say records in this data set. The index is range from 0 to 31860. And there are two columns date time 
and PM 2.5. The data type of first column is object and data type of second column is float. And it is also showing that there is 31861 nominal values in each column which is equal to the number of total records means there are no null value in this data set. Now as it is a time series data set first of all we have to convert the data type of this date time column from object to timestamp format and the syntax is we have to write pd pandas pd dot to date time and here in the round brackets we have to pass the column name that we want to consider and the column we want to consider is timestamp first of all we will write our data frame name data and the column name that we want to consider date time this column this is the syntax to convert a column data type into timestamp format if i run this the command is the command has been successfully executed and we have to make these changes permanently in our column name date time so i will write my column name again here this column name date time bracket close equal to now if i run this again the command has been executed to have a look at my data now this is my data what i have done in this syntax i have used pd dot to date time syntax to convert the data type of our column date time into the timestamp format and to make the changes permanently in our column we have used the column name here and equal to our syntax okay now if we check the information of our data set again now data dot info function now if you see here that the data type of date time column is date time 64 ns means the, sin the data type of this <coughs> column has been changed earlier if we see here data type of this column was object now we can easily work on this column. Question number first. Show the year wise average pollution with a line chart. This is a simple question. First of all, we will have a look at our data set. This is my data set. And to solve this question, first of all, I will create a column here. To create a new column, the syntax is our data frame name, the square brackets, and the new column name year in this column name what we need we need only the years from this date time column and to consider only the year the syntax will be our data frame name our column name date time and dt dot year this is the syntax if i run this the command has been executed and if we have a look at our data frame now then you can see a new column here has been added in this data frame which is containing only the years from this date time format okay so if we see the syntax again our new column name and to get only the year we have to pass the dt dot year with the column name that we want to choose okay now our question is show the year wise average pollution with a line chart means we have to first make the group of individual years from this data set and for this we will use the group by function to use the group by function we have to use our data frame name data the group by and here in the round packets we will pass the column name we want to consider the year column if i run this the group has been created now we have to consider second column also with this group by and second column we will consider is pm 2.5 i will copy this and second column we have to pass in square brackets like this and what we want we want the average pollution means or you can say average 
value of this column PM 2.5. So to check the average, we use the mean function. If I run this, the command has been executed successfully. So this is the average pollution year wise. In 2018, the average level of PM 2.5 or you can say pollution is 54.46. Similarly in 2019, 20 and 21. Now I will save this result in a new variable. I will give the variable name year underscore avg or average equal to this. Now my variable year average is this one. Now with this result I have to draw the line plot and I will not use the matplotlib library. I will draw the line plot with the pandas library only and the syntax will be my column name year underscore average this is my column name dot plot and first parameter is kind what kind of plot i want to draw i want to draw a line chart okay if i run this then you can see it is showing the line chart like this if i want to enhance the size of this figure i can use fix size function or fix size parameter fix size equal to I will use 15 by 5 if I run this again then you can see this is the line chart for the question number 1 in 2018 the level of PM 2.5 was about this 54.46 2019 it was this one 49.5 511 and similarly in 2021 the level was this one 44.85 we can also use the style function style parameter with this line chart i will copy this whole syntax and i will add a new parameter here after fix size the parameter will be style style equal to and quotes and here i will pass asterisk sign now see the difference if i run this you can see it will show like this in 2018 it is showing the value it is showing the value for 2019 2020 and 2021 so that's how we can use the style parameter and the fixed size functions with the line chart this is the answer of our question number first Moving to our next question, question number two is draw the area plot showing the average pollution month wise. In this question, we have to show the average pollution month wise. First of all, have a look at our data, data.head. This is our data. And now we will create a new column for month only. And the syntax to create a new column is our data frame name. In these square brackets, we have to pass the column name. And the column name will be month this time equal to in this column what we need we need only the month from this date time column so first of all we will consider this date time column data dot date time and to get the month from this column is dt dot month month this is the syntax to get the month only from this date time column if I run this, the command has been executed successfully. Now, if I have a look at my data now, the new column month has been created, which is containing only the month from this column date time. Now we have to uh, create a area plot uh, month wise. So first of all, we will use the group by function on this month column to make the group for each individual months. And the syntax is our data frame name dot group by in the round brackets. First of all, we have to pass our first column name, which will be month here. Then we have to consider our second column. Second column here we want to consider PM 2.5. And again here we will pass the mean function because we have to check the value or result month wise and the average of month wise pollution if i run this the command has been executed 
we will save this result in a new variable i am naming here month underscore average avg the result has been saved in this variable name month underscore avg so if you see there are 12 groups formed for each month 1 to 12 and it is showing the average pm 2.5 value for each month now we have to draw the area plot with this result the syntax will be again i will use pandas only and our month average column means this result dot plot in the round brackets we will pass first parameter kind this time we want the area plot so i will pass area here if i run this now the command has been executed successfully if you want to see a bigger image we can use fixed size function again fixed size equal to now this time i will use 12 by 5 if i run this then you can see that this is the area plot where it is showing the month wise average pollution in month first what you can see january the average pollution was average level of pm 2.5 was 65.8 in month 8 august the level of average pm 2.5 was 31.9 we can also change the color of this area chart using the parameter color if i want to change it to orange i will pass orange here if i run this now then you can see the color has been changed and so this is the result for our second question draw the area plot showing the average pollution month wise so it is showing the average pollution or average level of pm 2.5 month wise from month first to month 12 moving to our next question question number three is draw a bar graph to show the otherwise average pollution in this question we have to show the average pollution otherwise with the help of a bar graph now we will see our data in this data frame we have to create a new column for hours only and the syntax to create a new column for hours will be our data frame name our new column name or equal to in this column we want the hour value from date time column data dot date time dot dt dot hour if i run this the command has been executed if i have a look at my data frame now then a new column or has been created which is containing the hours value from this date time column now i have to create a, a bar graph to show the average pollution again i will use group by function on this new column or using the group by command our data frame name data dot group by and our first column name on which we want to use group by is or we have to write the exact column name that is present in our data frame here if the h is capital then we have to pass the h as capital here second column we want to consider is pm 2.5 because we have to show the average value of pm 2.5 column our wise now we will use the mean function again if i run this the command has been executed it is showing the average value for 24 hours now we will save this result in a new variable our dot average this is my variable name our dot average now i have to create a bar graph with this result in this result if you see at 9 or you can say 9 am the average level of pm 2.5 was 42.68 similarly at 20 or you can say at 8 pm at night the average level of pollution or pm 2.5 was 52.78 
if we create a bar graph with the help of pandas i will write my column name avg or dot plot function first parameter kind equal to bar because we have to draw a bar graph now if i run this it is showing the error average or we have to write or average call okay so this is the result for this question we can also adjust this size of figure fig size equal to 18 by 5 like this we can also set the color as purple or anything you want if i if you see here when i running when i am running this syntax it is showing a line like this to remove this line we can use a semicolon at the last of our command if i run this now this is the result for question number this question number three draw a bar graph to show the otherwise average pollution if we see here that the minimum pollution is at 12 am in the morning and the highest pollution in the day is at this 18 or you can say 6 pm in the evening so that's how we can create a bar graph with this result moving to our next question question number four is usually in which month or months the air was recorded very unhealthy if we see this figure and the level of concern very unhealthy here we have to consider the pm level 2.5 from 150.5 to 250.4 means we have to filter out all the records where level of pm 2.5 is this so let's do we will see our data here we have to consider this column for filtering and we have to filter out the specific records from this column and what we want we want data our data frame name the column name pm 2.5 our first condition will be value greater than or equal to 150.5 greater than or equal to 150.5 okay this is our first condition if we i run this now then it will show result in the form of true and false to get the result in the form of data frame i will pass my data frame name here and the square brackets and in the square brackets i will pass the conditions okay if i run this it will show all the records where the value is value of pm 2.5 is greater than or equal to 150.5 we have to consider one more condition means the level of pm 2.5 should be less than or equal to 250.4 so this is my first condition i will put it in round brackets and using and operator i will write my second condition my second condition will be level of pm 2.5 less than or equal to 250.4 this is my second condition now this syntax will filter out only those records where the level is greater than equal to this and but less than equal to this if i run this then this is the result where the level of pollution is very unhealthy okay now i will save this result in a variable x you can use any variable name i will use x here now our question was usually in which month or months there was recorded very unhealthy so in these months there was recorded very unhealthy if you see here that 11 month november is occurring most of the times and 10 months october is also occurring sometimes if we want to check the number or counts of occurrence of each month in this result we can use the value count function 
so i will use value count function on this result that's why i have saved this result in the variable name x now i will use value count on this x x dot value counts what column i want to consider i want to consider the column month so month counts here if you see here it is showing the count of individual value of this column month means 11 is occurring 16 times means in the month of november the air or the pollution was recorded very unhealthy while in the month of february the count is least which is 2 so that's how we can solve this question using the filtering and using the value counts Moving to our next question, question number fifth is usually in which month or months the air was fresh or good. This is similar to the above question, but here we have to use only filtering only on one condition. So it is asking for the fresh or good air. If we again see this table, the level of concern good is when the level of PM 2.5 is between 0 to 12.0 means less than 12.0 now my data is this i have to consider this pm 2.5 column i have to use filtering on this column so to consider any column data frame name again pm 2.5 here i have to filter out all the records where the level of pm 2.5 is between 0 to 12.0 so we can simply use pm 2.5 less than equal to 12.0 it will filter out all the records matching this condition if i run this then these are the records where the level of pm 2.5 is less than equal to 12.0 or the air was fresh now if you see the month uh, mostly it is showing 8 means in the august the air was fresh or good we can use the value count again on this result first of all i will save this result in a variable name y so that i can use value count function on this we can use value count function from writing here also but i will <coughs> use a new variable for this result my variable name y dot value counts what can what column i have to consider i have to consider the column month because i have to see the result for month column so if you see here that 8 or august is occurring most of the time in this result means in august the air was fresh most of the time while in the month of may it is showing only two records means it is the least time where the air was fresh okay so this is the result for this question moving to our next question question number six is in the year 2018 how many times the aq was recorded moderate so here we have to use filtering again and we have to filter for multiple records this time First of all, we have to filter out the records where the year is 2018. And next one is AQY was recorded moderate. If we see this table, then the level of moderate occurs when the level of PM 2.5 is between this 12.1 to 35.4. So how to solve this? My data frame. This is my data frame now we have to use filtering on two columns now first one is year and second one is pm 2.5 so first condition will be our where the year is 2018 so i will consider year column equal equal to 2018 this is my first condition and my second condition is I will use end operator my second condition will be 
on PM 2.5 column PM 2.5 equal to more less than moderate for moderate we have to use PM 2.5 as greater than or equal to 12.1 or first condition okay and our second condition will be PM 2.5 less than or equal to 35.4 data column name and the less than equal to condition less than equal to 35.4 this is the condition okay now we have used three different condition for this question to show the result in the form of data frame we will pass our data frame name and all the conditions in the square brackets square bracket end if i run this then it is showing the result where the conditions are fulfilled the year is 2018 only and the level of pm would do time as mentioned so there are total 2 to 3 9 records matching this condition now if you want to cross check then we can use the unique function also on this column here First of all, I will save this result in a variable jad. Jad. This is the result. Now on this variable jad, I will consider the year column and on year column I will use the unique function. If you see here, it is showing 2018 means all the records are related to 2018 year. Also, we can check the level of PM 2.5 in this result. 2.5 means this column I am considering here if you see that the level you can see will be between this and this okay so that's how we can solve this question using three conditions and using filtering our last question question number seven is how was the weather in the month of January and July? We have to find the weather condition in these two months. Our data frame is this. We have to consider the month column for this question. And we will use the filtering method to solve this question. We will consider the month column. We have to show the weather for January means for the month one. I will use filtering for this. If I run this, it will show the record related to January only. Okay, <coughs> now we have to check the weather condition for the month of January. To check weather condition, we can take the mean value of PM 2.5 or the pollution level in the month of January. I have considered the <coughs> January records here only. Secondly, I will choose the PM 2.5 column. And on this column, I will use the mean function. If I run this, then it will show the mean value of PM 2.5 in the month of January or 1. Okay. It is showing the mean value is 68, 65.82. If we check from our table, when the level of PM 2.5 is 55.82 is this from this interval, the level of air is unhealthy. So we can say that the air was unhealthy in the month of January. Now we have to check the <coughs> same for the month of July. So I will use again same syntax, but I will use the condition for July month. My column that I want to consider month equal equal to July or you can say seventh month. I will use the data frame name square brackets. It is showing the records regulated with July month. Again, I will consider PM 2.5 column. And again the mean function on this column values. 
it is showing the result is 31.88 if we check from this table again when the value of pm 2.5 is 31 then the level of concern is moderate then you can say that the level of air pollution was moderate in the month of july so that's how we can filter out using the filtering and using some functions so this is the answer for our last question